I was always good at drawing and creating art. In a way, I sort of denied that part of me because uh, I ran around with some pretty tough guys. I ended up going to reform school when I was a kid. In Kansas, the kind of friends I had would call you up on the weekend and say, let's go to the green tree and pick fights. That was what was fun to them, or steal cars. I mean, that's the kind of people I hung out with. And so to be an artist, you were almost a faggot. You know, that was a little too gay. In 1959, after going to school in uh, Mexico, I moved to uh, San Francisco, and it was really a great time. There was just this cadre of artists, you know, and they were all sort of in touch with you, with each other, and you know, everyone knew each other. If you went somewhere to an opening or something, you would see 10, 20, 30, 50 of these people. This is in front of City Lights. And it was taken by Walter Chappelle, who's in the picture. There's me. Jerry Campster wrote a book called uh, The Frisco Kid. Pat Cassidy was one of the stars of it, and uh, Arthur Monroe, who's now curator of the Oakland Museum. Uh, there's Nick Gravenitas, Paul Butterfield, the blues band. There's all kind of artists, Michael Bowen. Uh, there's Lawrence Ferlinghetti. We all gathered in front of St. Lice and took his picture. This painting is sort of done. That one is half done. This one, the painting of a nude. I ran into problems with her, and so I got tired of it, and uh, I'm putting it over. Any of those are ones starting. Anyway, they're stacked up all over the place. Artists, uh, particularly painters, tend to think of themselves as special. And a lot of us sort of adopted that kind of attitude. The painter, the artist, is like this sort of supreme person. Shouldn't take any shit from anyone. That was my problem, I think. I was around those people who became famous and, and were some of them geniuses, and I figured I would be like them too. You know, as I saw them becoming famous, I you know, figured I would become famous. Well, that didn't work out. Blackness Sparkles, The Life and Times of the Batman Gallery from 1960 to 1965. The Batman Gallery was actually a great place for a lot of us. There's Joan and Billy Armark who started the Batman. That's Philip Whelan, a rather famous poet. There's Mike McClure, the poet. There's a picture of George Herms and Bob Brenneman, myself. That's a big painting of mine called Peter Rabbit. This was a great time in my life, and um, it's sort of... Uh, led to a lot of a lot of great things. Here's a picture Wallace Berman took of me and um, Big Sur in front of the cabins I built there. That was my studio. There's a good picture of Susan, my wife who died. That's the picture I used to make that silk screen over there. The name of the piece though is For the Love of Susan. Uh, for the love of God is a Damien Hirst pitch, that skull that he made, he sold for two million dollars or whatever. This is one of my cartoons. Uh, Lord knows what it is, but Dr. Blah Blah is doing stuff in his laboratory. He created some kind of monster and sent it out in the world. He was also shooting up drugs. And the monster came to somebody's house and hit on the door, but it actually it wasn't a monster. It was the Princess Blue Blue, but he thought it was a monster and he threw acid in her face and then he had to rebuild her, so that's what this is all about. Yeah, the publisher thought these were so obscene they had them all destroyed. That's when I first started using needles and heroin. I thought it was romantic. Little did I know what it'd lead to, but anyway, thank goodness we got over that. Is that a mom and daddy? Or a... Well, it's a mom and daddy. It's not kissing, but it says let's fuck, so that's sort of weird. But uh, that obviously might have to do with one of the reasons my work was not that accepted. <laughs> These are one of my soak screens. The kids at school call this my advertisement. I want a wife. <laughs> I'm also doing a series about uh, outlaws uh, wanted by Aunt Sally and my grandmother, 
were Youngers, and the Youngers rode with Jesse James. There's my grandfather who married the Younger. And so I'm doing a whole series uh, about that, that I married, that, that I come from gangsters, you know. <laughs> Here's another one of those pieces. That's my grandfather, Younger. And there's Cole Younger, who rode with Jesse James. There's my mother, there's my grandmother. I, I've studied uh, Tibetan uh, uh, Buddhism for some years. This is a white Tara. It's a silk screen that I've embellished a little with watercolor. I studied with the Dalai Lama. I did the Kali Chakra for about 10 days. That was one of the more interesting things. I, I, every time I get a chance to study with the Dalai Lama, I do it because he's one of my main guys. I love him dearly. This was one of my favorite lamas, Yeshe Dorji. He was the Dalai Lama's rain man. He could make it rain. Anyway, I was, it was a privilege and a pleasure to study with these guys. Here's a little book I made around Christmas and I gave some people. It's sort of like a cartoon. Mm -hmm. I love the female nudes, so there's a lot of nudes. There's me taking a picture of a nude. There's my Christmas card for a couple of years ago. Merry fucking Christmas. And that's the end. I think being an artist, a successful artist, is something like being in show business. And it really doesn't have a lot to do with how good your art is. It should, and maybe it does, but it, I think I miss some of that. Because I've known some artists that became very famous that did really shitty art. You want me to sign this for you, huh? It's such a good copy compared to mine. I think I have another one that's better. This is actually probably a woodblock probably that big. I did this. If we do the mama daddies, we might include this piece, you know? Yes, definitely. There's another piece of mine. Another piece of mine. There's another little piece of mine. And there's the thing advertising Bruce Conner's movies. You made quite a few movies yourself, huh? A few movies, yeah. One, two, three, Thank <laughs> you. 